Nothing like a sneeze right when you're about to unmute the microphone. Ugh. What I was going to say was ever feel like you're taking a really big risk? The last time we played a game completely blind, it didn't work out so well. That game was Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Hmm. The thing with that game was that it was a completely new gameplay style, one of which that I am not particularly used to. And as much as I enjoyed the characters of that game, as well as the story overall, the gameplay left a lot to be desired. Now, I have played portions of the sequel, Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, uh, both on and off stream, and it's alright. I don't think I will do a full playthrough of s on a stream about it, maybe much, much, much later when I f if my opinions change, but it's not what we're here today to play. I don't think this game will steer me in the wrong direction. This is a series that I actually do enjoy, and we've only played maybe a couple of games on stream at best of this particular series, and I really should play more of it. This is a game that came out last year, and I wanted it, but I never ever actually played it, and decided I was going to keep it, and see how I feel about it later. And tonight, tonight I'm going to give it a go. Now, this comes with some bloody big warnings. I'm going to give this a fair shot and play it for at least a couple of streams. However, if I am not enjoying it, I'm going to excuse myself from it and we will move on and play something else. That said, I really, really hope that I enjoy this game. Because I am actually looking forward to playing this one. And when I was setting up the stream, the little bit that I played, I felt right at home with. So hopefully, this is up my alley. I guess we'll find out. Oh look, finally been able to take in a Skyler stream. How you been? I'm good, Crimson. How are you? Good to see ya. Before we get started on the game, let us head on over to the card table, open up our card pack, and then we'll get started. And I will make sure that I select the right seats. Good <laughs> trying not to do any work. This is a good way to do it. <laughs> Don't tell my work, but I've started watching streams on the side when I'm working. But that's... But hey, I can get away with it because there's no one in the office. But shh. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> And I don't do it when I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's fire up Joy Can here. Please work, thank you. Right, I still don't have card sleeves. What was the word? <laughs> I still don't have card sleeves, so I have to keep using the perfect fit sleeves. I am running out of perfect fit sleeves. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I just realized that I couldn't. Here, I did you want TCG? Let's go. Uh, I just realized that I'm going to have to go to the local game shop and pick up some more perfect fit sleeves because I don't have any. So it's actually a good thing that I love this game. It's actually quite a good thing that I didn't. Uh, sort those cards out because I wouldn't have physically been able to. I actually use perfect fit sleeves when I'm filing away the collection, so. Alright, well let's crack you open and see what we get. Hey, no 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 secret reveals. Keep that to yourself back until I get to you. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Garudamon, not sure if we've opened you before. 
When attacking once per turn, when this Digimon attacks a player, gain one memory. Wizardmon, we have opened you before, I know that much. Zudamon, I think we've seen you before. Metal Mamimon, I think we saw you in the last pack, but just in case. When Digimolding, you may reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one level six Digimon card with machine and its traits among them to your hand. Trash the remaining cards. And when attacking, if this Digimon is machine in its traits, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of five or less. XVmon, I know we've seen you. Salamon, I think we've seen you a couple of times. Metal Tyrannomon, I'm not sure, so I'll read it anyway. When digivolving, you may reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one level six Digimon card with machine in its traits among them to your hand. Trash the remaining cards. And on your opponent's turn, while this Digimon is machine in its traits, it gains reboot. Gabumon's an uncommon card? Okay. When attacking, once per turn, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Tamer card or one Digimon card with Gabumon in its name among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Lilymon, your turn, once per turn, when one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. Myotismon, on your turn, when this Digimon digivolves into a Digimon card with Myotismon in its name in your hand, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by one. On your turn, while this Digimon has Myotismon in its name, all of your Digimon with Retaliation can also attack your opponent's unsuspended level four or lower Digimon. Vmon! One of my favourites. Your turn, once per turn. When this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. And oh, okay, we're going we're going from Vmon straight to Imperial Jamon. Okay, cool. Imperial Jamon Dragon Mode, Secret Rare Card. When Digivolving, if a Digimon card with free in its traits is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, unsuspend this Digimon and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Huh. Oh, that's an interesting trade-off. On your turn, for each colour in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, it gets plus 1,000 DP. So it could potentially get to oh, 13,000 DP there. What a sleeve goes up. I find it funny how I got Vmon and essentially one of his Digivolutions. I do apologise if I sound a bit... What's the word? Sort of husky in my voice tonight. I've started to develop a bit of a cough today, and I'm not sure why. Uh, where are we? There we go. That box is getting awfully full. I need to I need to sort cards this weekend. It is crucial. Ugh. Wizardmon is good. Metal Mammon is really good in the Machine Dramon deck. Same with Metal Tyranno. Yo, Imperial. Good pull, man. You sound alright. Well, that's good. <laughs> alright. Now, how do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the game here. Hi, Dark Coop Patrol. Welcome on in. Uh, yeah. Alright. Are you ready then? Let's, let's get this show on the road. Oh, that's not good. Ha 
identity! Oh! <laughs> Kirby just got completely distorted. Okay. Kirby! Kirby, OMG. Kirby looks sad. That face! Kirby's eyes, dude. God. I can't wait to get the, um, Kirby 30th anniversary, uh, I think it's a Nendoroid? Smash Brothers all over again. It feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Carlos weave into a spire. <laughs> all right, I need to, I need to un, I need to uncable myself and set the stream game for tonight. Kobo versus the world. One little pink puffball against the world. I put my bet on the pink puffball. This guy kills gods. <laughs> That is right. On a day's work for the little guy. <laughs> yep, that is right. We are playing Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, as a reminder, this is a completely blind playthrough. So no spoilers, please. General hints and tips are okay, but I will ask for help if I need it. I don't think I should need it because this is a Kirby game. Uh, for those wondering, I am picking wild mode for this. I am not... I think it's called Wild Mode. I am not picking uh, Spring Breeze mode because this is a Kirby game and I expect it to be relatively easy anyway. So, uh, just to show that, that is in change difficulty. So, yep, I am in Wild Mode. It's all fine. I never played it myself. Neither have I. I have only seen what Nintendo showed. And that's it. Hello, Papa Lynx. Welcome on in. I need to change the game. we go. Alright. Uh, as usual, if you cannot hear the game, please let me know. If you can't hear me, please let me know. Uh, there's not really much music going on at the moment, so it's a bit hard to tell. Alright, I'm just going to familiarize myself a little bit more with the controls. Moving in 3D space actually feels kind of natural for Kirby. B button to inhale, A button to jump. I think Y or X is discard my copy ability. That's under the control settings, yeah? Yeah, Y is to drop ability, X is to use stock, stock items. I am perfectly okay with that. I'm gonna turn auto swallow off, I think. Because you always used to press down in order to swallow things. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. Uh, oh, okay. Kirby has a dodge roll? Sure. Not expecting that, all right. Kirby is more agile than you think. So this is the first dodging Kirby car means. So this is the first 3D Kirby game, but I'm going to put an asterisk on that. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, technically speaking, Kirby Air Ride was 3D. You could jump off of your vehicle, but only in City Trial mode. And Kirby controlled very similar to how he controls here. Control stick to move, A to jump, and you couldn't actually use your uh, swallow ability or anything like that for the time being that you were off your vehicle. So he has gone 3D before, but this is his first actual platformer. What does that do? Okay. Pah. K 
Kirby can fly, but his flight is limited. I learned that in my uh, trial. You can fly for an extendedly long period of time. Like, this is ridiculous. And then he'll start giving up. Which is the same as how it was in Kirby 64, so that's fine. Okay, so healing is still the same with food items. Checkpoint. That is, honestly, that's a really cool checkpoint icon. It doesn't get in the way. It's gone pretty quickly. I just kicked the Coke can. Kirby, it's time we find out where the bloody hell we are. The music kicks in and this is playable and I love it so much. Like this didn't feel playable in the trailers. What happens if I go back? Does the music cut out? Yes it does, it fades out. That's cool. Not that I really want it to because I'm actually enjoying the music. Luke is getting a little busy, sadly gotta take off. Hope you have a great stream. Alright, no worries Crimson. Cheers for coming by. Catch you later, alright? Not particularly fond of the frame rate in the background, I've got to admit, but the frame rate up close and personal is good. Oh no, you are... you are coming here. You will give me that sword. Hand over the sword and no one gets hurt. I am really enjoying this music. Wow. What's interesting is that all of these old Kirby enemies are here, but it feels like... It's not the fact that they shouldn't be here, it's the fact that they were all sucked in at the same time. I wonder if this... Nope, it does not... We don't have a little screen to tell us uh, exactly what's what the uh, copy ability does. This music is very grandiose. Take me energy drink. Why to drop the ability? Whoop! Did not mean to do that. Oh well. <laughs> I'll take sword again. Oh, okay, enemies do respawn. Alright, interesting. Bombs away! Looks like I can't force those bombs to explode, which is interesting. So I need to be careful when using bombs. Because they... I don't think I can force them to explode once they stop. I can kick the bombs around though. If I kept throwing bombs at you, I was going to hit you eventually. Carrot. My bombs follow physics. Okay, good to know. I'm assuming my own bombs can't hurt me, right? Does this look like a trash can? <laughs> okay. Heading inside. Are we already at? Oh, we are already at. <laughs> okay. 
Oh no! Attack of the cute fluffs. Oops. <laughs> beep beep, I'm a car. Kirby, that's a little rusty, and I don't think you should put that in your mouth. A to jump, B to turbo dash. I did not expect this so soon, to be honest. Also, I love how this car is basically in a dealership of some kind, and it was just on display. And we even have a workshop, that's actually kind of clever. I'm gonna grab as many coins as possible because I don't know what they're gonna be good for. Need a turbo dash. Oh dear. It's fine, I'm sure they won't need that dealership anytime soon. Well, considering the state of the world, I'm surprised this car still works. Where do you think Kirby is, anyway? You can uh, calm out. any kind of checkpoint there. Well, not checkpoint, but collectible, I should say. Outside of standard coins. Oh, that works. <laughs> I like how Kirby did a little jump. Ha <laughs> ha! Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This song is totally Kirby. <laughs> That's cute. Third, Kirby. Okay, was not expecting an anime style intro like that. That's very cool. Hey! Hmm.
I'm actually kind of glad that Kirby gets like a very cool intro sequence. I did not expect Nintendo and HAL Laboratory to pull that kind of stops with the little pink puffball. That's very cute. Oh, this place got stuffed up. Oh god, that is a big cage. I suggest you let him go! Or we're gonna have some problems! Now let him go! Or her. <laughs> they. <laughs> Kirby dance! Nice to see that. <laughs> Phew, you saved me. Thank you. But what about those other guys? The Waddledees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to! What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great! So, your name is Kirby? I'm Elphalin. How the hell do you pronounce that one? Elphalin. Elphalin? I'm gonna go with Elphalin, but I could be wrong. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Shame it couldn't be on the better circumstances, but never mind. Hey Kirby. Wait! Bandana D! Dude, you survived! Co-op with two players. Select play co-op from the pause menu to have P2 control Bandana Waddle D. Work together by playing together. That's cute. Boy, am I glad to see you! I got pulled through that vortex over Planet Popstar too. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Second player to join, just call me anytime through the pause menu. I'll rush over. The trouble is playing as Bandana Waddle D means that you don't get the same abilities Kirby does. The Natural Plains. Downtown Grassland. To Waddledee Town. Okay. Come on, Kirby, let's go save those poor captured Waddledees. Clear the stage, save the hidden Waddledees. Okay. Hmm. Looks like there's a few missions per per stage, so this will be interesting, I think. Can I just say the music in this game is on point? It is hitting all of the right vibes and all of the right Kirby vibes. I don't want to beat up the meat, the cute fluffy things, but they're being mean to the Waddledees, and we just can't have that nonsense. Make five tulips bloom. Ow! Hey, I was in the process of dropping my ability to pick you up. Cutter! Are you a are you like a high jump or something? No. Hmm. 
So a green is worth two, a red is worth five, I think? I don't suppose that was a tulip. Food. Ah, yep, it's the red tulips that I gotta bloom. Okay. I am now a vending machine. Christy, you actually scared me that time. You made me jump. <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Skylar Starter. Thank you so much for the raid, Christy Connect. Tonight we are playing some Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This is a completely blind playthrough. I've not played this game before. Should have been here earlier when you did the cards. Christy, what were you playing tonight? Were you doing more Sonic, um... I almost said Sonic Werehog. And I'm like, no, that's not right. Sonic, uh... I nearly said it again. Sonic... Now I want to say Sonic and the Black Knight. That's not even correct. Sonic... Sonic Unleashed. There we go. I got there eventually. Were you playing more Sonic Unleashed or were you playing something else tonight? Uh, apparently I can't get up there with my soda cans. Well, rip soda cans. Mm, been speedrunning frontiers, but I missed the personal desk because one of the islands wasn't behaving itself. Oof. Oh, he does not look friendly. Hey! Bring that back. Gimme. sure I'm not missing anything. Food. No red tulips here. Okay. Blood. Give me that. I will eat your soul for that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got there eventually. The bomb is a little tricky to aim in 3D. But it's fine, I'll get used to it. They are just giving us all of the mouthful abilities, like, right off the bat, huh? I hope there's going to be a few more surprises. Although, at the moment, like, we've only seen the ones in the trailers, so it's fine. But considering the game's only just starting, I'm hoping to see more. Would be a bit of a shame if there was only three. Take that! I if I can... Nope. But I can smash that! I'm still on the lookout for any more red tulips that I see. Speaking of which... Let's 
gonna say, we haven't seen one in a while, and I'm worried that I've missed one. A wee! Ride the spewing water up to the balcony. Hey! I don't know what that is. Some sort of collectible. I do like how Kirby's got this little waddle on him. <laughs> Pat. Don't need that anymore. Here we go. It's a trap waddle day. Copy Essence Deluxe. Maybe the bomb would have been a better choice. Wild Edge! Oh boy. Free him! Working on it! Take your soul! Give me my sword. You! Come here! Save the hidden waddle dees. I got one. Is that end of level? No, it is not. Okay, there's more level to play. I was like, but I've only freed one waddle dee. Oh, look at this cute little fluff over there in the corner. I'm not talking about the bull. They they scratch themselves. They are very cute. I wish we didn't have to kill them. You have a menu that shows what the ability can do. I do not. Surprisingly. Break the building's shutter, ride the spewing water up to the balcony. Wait, break the building's shutter. I wonder what that was all about, because I definitely missed that one. Ow. That looks like a new enemy over there. What's this? A new mouthful. I have not seen this one. that thing over there and I'm a little worried about it. However, it seems I was supposed to come up here first so I can free this! Haha! And then I can kill it. Right. I don't want I don't like killing these things. They're too adorable to cute. They're they're too adorable to cute. They're too adorable to kill. But if they come at me, I don't have a choice. Excuse me, sir! Hey! Save the hidden model Ds, all three of them. I did get everything back over here, didn't I? I got the tulip. I left him alone because he is sleeping. He is not being a nuisance to me. I will not be a nuisance to him. I'm 
if the other barrels are like that. Must have already gotten it. Okay, homeward we go. Let's see if that's a poster or something. Some obscure reference or something. It might be. Well, he just dove off a cliff. <laughs> oh bloody hell, he's big. He's about to be unbigged. I'll bet that hurt, buddy. <laughs> Bye out. Clear the stage, save the hidden model these, make five tulips bloom. Break the building's shutter and ride the spewing water up to the balcony. I assume this is not going to be quite so easy going forward. <laughs> Capsules! Volume 1? Kirby! Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home on Planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world. Travelling through that vortex also gave Kirby a new mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure. A new and mysterious power. Are you talking about mouthful mode? I mean, Kirby could just do that anyway. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. Oh, I did not read the car. A Wolfie! Oh, they even have a cute name. Look at this. A common beast that can be found all over the new world. They're pretty cute, but they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the world with these. Funny, you'd think they'd get along. <laughs> Through the tunnel. Oh, what are these saved? Bye, guys! Your figure collection is now available. Use this to view all the figures you collected. See if you can collect a full set. Hello, Sinex. Welcome on in. What are the town? I wanted to have a look around. All of these are rebuilding their town. Save as many as you can to open up new buildings and helpful resources. Waddle Dee Cinema is now open. Rewatch some memorable scenes on the big screen. That weird vortex pulled me into the sky. I had no idea what was happening. I still don't. At least I found the other Waddle Dees. It looks like they arrived in this new world just before me. I was searching high and low for our friends. Then I saw an odd pink car dash by. I'm guessing that was you, huh, Kirby? That looked like quite a mouthful. Everything okay in there? Don't bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> Bandana D is just looking up for us. Looks like the model these have been hard at work. Wanna take a look around? I do. I assumed that they would be here to fix it because it's called Waddle Dee Town, so. <laughs> that is very cute. It 
So this actually tells us there's a maximum tomato there. What are all the model leads are planning to rebuild next? We need 60 and we need 50. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. I do have to wonder if there's more stuff that they start opening too. Because 50 doesn't... Like, it says 50 and 60 and it's like, well... That's a pretty big number for a start. And then there's like nothing else once they're all open. Oh wow, they even did the full interior, look at this. Welcome to Model D Cinema! You can watch all kinds of movies here. Are you wondering why we build a cinema so soon? Well, it's because entertainment is important. So which movie would you like to watch, Cabby? Credits, Cabby in the Mysterious vort Vortex, Mysterious Mouthful Mode. Welcome to the new world. The Waddle Dees are here too. Invasion of the destroyed town. Meeting Elflin. Feel free to stop in anytime. Alright, well it doesn't look like anything else is going to open for a while. So there's not much reason to go back there. For at least a while. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Look at Kirby's giant goofy face! Oh, I love that! <laughs> ah yes, I'd like to I'd like to look at this a little bit. Kirby! Mmm! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Through the tunnel! Clear the stage, save the hidden waddle these and three mysterious missions we don't know about. <laughs> they don't open until we either finish the stage or I'm assuming complete the uh, required missions. What's interesting is I still don't have a use for my coins yet. Like four lantern switches. So I'm guessing the game wants me to move the, uh, well not move, but keep the fire ability for as long as possible. For this particular stage. Through the tunnel! You can kick the little lightsaber. Oh! Okay, I do have the uh, fireball dash. Now I'm assuming that's death down there, so I don't really want to jump down there. Let's jump over here. Burn. Um, let me just see. See what's around. Nothing? Okay. Gimme. Whatever this is. Let's be a switch. I'd be going through. Find the secret room! We certainly did. Gimme! That's one out of three hidden model dees.
There weren't any lantern switches here, were there? I didn't see any. is going to be a bit trickier to 100% than I thought it was. To be honest. But we'll see how we go. It's kind of weird not having to press a button to enter a door. <laughs> but I'll get used to it. It is a 3D coding game after all. You don't need to do that nonsense. Are you supposed to be a Gordo? What happened? Oh wow, they put two lamps right next to each other, huh? That's a bit weird. Give me the coin. I don't even know what I can buy with coin, but I want coin. Give me capture. Whoa. All of the food in the world. Oh no, there are real Gordos in this. Okay. It is not limited. Alright, well we lit up the four lanterns. There's another hidden world of it. Oh, looky, I'm back! How's the game so far? It's going good! I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Well, not kind of, I actually really am enjoying it. Now, one thing that I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of the camera angle, I must admit. I'm not the biggest fan of the camera angle sometimes. I wish it would stay... I wish it would stay like this, compared to this weird top-down view. I feel as though that's not quite working out. Oh, this is gonna be tight! Sorry, no time to kill you. Gotta find out what's in this cannon. <laughs> Whee! That's a fair criticism. That's all three of the hidden model D's saved. Nope, there's a fourth. Okay, that changes per level. Noted. Yeah, I'm not too sure why those platforms appeared. Excuse me, sir, coming through. He's a big one. It's no match for my flames of doom! Excuse me? What? What? I am concerned about what Kirby's gonna look like if I do this. But sure. Ah yes, I can fall over. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> oh, this is too funny. <laughs> the little feeties. <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to leave those there for a second and, like, climb up. Nope. Alright. I like how he does not, like, rotate or turn around at all. I can get my face right into things, too. Like, look at that. <laughs> Cap 
So, I'll take it. Give me my stairs! Long to the very next day. <laughs> I'm a crumbling canyon wall and I'm taking you with me. Oh, that's interesting. Like, it, there's like a little warning sign that tells you you can't fall over there. On that, it'll bounce you back up. Although I suppose it's not really supposed to do that. Now, hang on a moment. Yeah, so I can't, I can't fly up there myself. So I need to waddle on back over this way. Spit out these stairs. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. That was a wonder poster. I mean, it could be that too. It could be both things, to be honest. So I need to do... Nope, I can't do that. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. No, I don't need to do that bad, Kirby, so hang on. Let's get you out. No, give me that back. I need that. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> No, I don't want- I don't want to eat stairs! I put it on top of the fuse now. Oh! Okay, so you have to wait for it to go past. Then move it into position. This is tricky. That is falling over. That is not... There we go. Okay. That took more time than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> That's the fourth hidden model there. Coins and more coins. Now where to? I don't want to eat stairs. <laughs> Fine! Get in my mouth. Mm, no, no, I, I will take fire. I like sword more, but I will take fire because the stage has been using fire a lot, and I imagine that we're probably gonna still need fire. I feel like I've missed a mission. And Waddledee. No, I got I got everything, but I removed the wanted poster. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's cool that they reveal it after the stage. That's fine. Cause then you can actually figure out what, what you're supposed to do. If your health is low, just eat a maximum tomato to fully heal yourself. They're packed with nutrients. Did these fall through the same vortex as Kirby and his friends, or were they in the world, new world already? It's hard to tell, but everyone seems to enjoy them. Even the beast pack. So it makes it easy to go back for 100%. Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually glad that it does do that. I was hoping it would, but I wasn't sure if it was going to. But I'm, I'm really glad that it does. Rocky Rollin' Road. Bye guys! What are they? 
What are these you say found a new mysterious area? Treasure Road. There could be rare items in there. Hop in and explore. I'm gonna see if I can go back in here and grab the uh, final thing. Should be able to skip through most of the stage though. This should be fairly easy. Because we know what we're looking for. Oh dear. Okay, so jumping off of a cliff only takes away from your health and does not outright kill. Interesting. Are you going to give me a new capsule? No, because that's not what you did. That was easy, he says, falls off a cliff. <laughs> I wonder if you can grab more capsules by replaying stages. I am still really enjoying the soundtrack. I must admit. This is a solid soundtrack. And I must say that aside from the... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try it. It does sound really good. Yeah, I must I must say, aside from the weird frame rate issues off in the distance, like, you'll, you'll see it next time we wander nearby to an enemy. Like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes if the enemy is far enough away from you, they just tend, tend to sort of have a weird frame rate thing. And that's sort of like what Pokemon does as well. I noticed it more in Pokemon than I did in this game, but Pokemon's made me more apparent to it. Also, it doesn't look like it gives me a new capsule. But I suppose we'll find out, because the capsule's open at the end of the stage anyway. But yeah, if we go... Okay, for some reason this guy is fine. Probably the... I was just going to say, probably the help of the system resources. Yeah. See, I think, I think that's the thing, as well. And I think it's more of a... I think it's more of a platform problem than a uh, game problem. need this, but I'll take the money. Oh, for sure. It's weird how the Switch can sometimes have that issue and then sometimes just not have it. Like, I never noticed it in Mario Odyssey, for example. It's definitely way worse. <laughs> On my Scarlet and Violet. Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely way worse than Scarlet and Violet. It's just the fact that it's more noticeable because I have noticed it before in Pokemon. So now it's just more noticeable. Yeah, it's such a great game too. Yeah. It was blatantly obvious in Scarlet and Violet, I'm afraid. And I think that's what's made me more noticeable to it. Overall, so there's the wonder poster that I've got to sort out. I wonder how I remove it though. Can I just burn it? Yes. <laughs> the correct answer to that question is yes. I can just burn it.
kind of in a hole up from my last map of it. Wasn't that wasn't that apparent in Legends last season so Sword and Shield. I don't know, I feel as though it was very apparent in Legends Arceus. Much more than Sword and Shield. I definitely noticed it way more in Legends Arceus. Myself. And then that made it really, really obvious when uh, I was gonna walk over there and smack you one with my fireball. That's why I wandered over here in the first place. So I'm just gonna do that anyway. And then Sword and Shield makes it even more apparent. And that it's it's noticeable in this game as well. Not quite so much, because on, it only it's only the enemies, and there's so few enemies that you don't have to worry about them too much. I guess I didn't notice it. <laughs> Treasure chest! Okay, so those do give me new new capsules. Okay, interesting. Right, there's the last guy. <laughs> See you soon. Alright. Card of treasure? Bomb treasure. Do I need... Throw and catch, treasure collecting. Okay, I don't need the copy ability, it gives me the copy ability. You can hold the cutter! If you press and hold the button, you can hold it in place. Very nice! Oh, that's not it. Okay. Probably my smoothest room yet. <laughs> nice! Rest stone found. The target time was one minute. sure if you get anything extra for doing the target time. This is a target time of 30 seconds, so... Triple strike! Bowling for switches! No, get used to how happy and colourful Kerbo games are. Kirby games have you played? That is a good question. My main two seem to be Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards um, and Kirby Air Ride. I have played Kirby's Adventure Wii. I played the original. Um, I played Kirby's Amazing Mirror. That was I played that on emulator. I played Kirby Squeak Squad. I played Kirby Superstar Ultra, that was one of my first main Kirby games. I need to play Crystal Shards. Crystal Shards is good. 
and you can mix up the copy abilities. You can get two copy abilities at a time and join them together. It's great. Superstar Ultra, yes. <laughs> um, I did try Kirby Mass Attack. Wasn't that big of a fan of it, though. I am curious to see what I get if I clear these in, a, like, in the target time. Just to see what happens. I'm not sure I'll be able to do this one, though. This one's tricky. Have to be dead accurate with your throws. Kirby, turn around! I'm already gonna fail this one. I'm gonna try that again. Hey everybody, hi GLM, welcome on in. was much better. Much, much, much better. Okay. Right, that should be the target time this time. Nice. Okay, so it just gives me more coins. That's all it does. All right, interesting. Sorry, I'm actually gonna, ugh. Feel bad for leaving it alone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and do this one too. <laughs> I ran to the wrong pad. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> so close. Man, you gotta be fast on that one. These are actually difficult. I do like how it remembers what uh, copy ability you have though. do this any faster than what I was doing it before. Did I do it? <laughs> yes, just barely.
We've got Rocky Rollin' Road. Let's see what we've got to do here. I see you. I see you too. I'm gonna hide from me. Whoa! Hmm. I'm assuming that's gonna give me spike if I spawn it. I am curious to see. What are you? Ha <laughs> ha! Kirby's got a gun. Gun. Eight snacks off three tree stumps. Just special he wheels the gun. <laughs> Eat snacks off tree stumps. Was there a tree stump back here? I don't think there was. Mm, no. I like how it's called Ranger. And yet he's wearing basically a mining helmet because he has a little light on, on him and everything. Well, I suppose that's to tell you where you're aiming. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I have a charge shot. Hello. Also, it homes in on stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this power up. You. I was gonna say it was aiming at one of the rocks, but no, it wasn't aiming at one of the rocks. Oh, I nearly got crushed. That's one out of four hidden model base. Hello, Mario64. How are you today? And Mario Party. What was that minigame in Mario Party where you're trying to avoid boulders? And there's one person at the top of the hill throwing boulders down. I forgot what that game is called. Aha, hello, sneaky sneaky. Find the side road while going uphill. Oh god, that's a good question. I should know it, but Mario Party has so many minigames and I do not know the names of all of them. <laughs> like how you can still waddle around like that. Give me the capsule. All right. Okay, I'm definitely not supposed to go over there. <coughs> nope. Bang bang. Secret? Secret?
Ha! It went away. Stupid target. Is it gonna come back? I don't think it's gonna come back. I think I'm supposed to clear it all in one go. to clear it all in one go, that gets me a waddle leaf. <clears throat> I actually thought that was going to be one of the secret missions. Let's roll! snack. I don't like the way this camera's setting up. I think we've got a chase sequence! This music is too cheerful for this Indiana Jones stuff. <laughs> Indiana Jones music. That's three Waddle Dees. And a can. <laughs> not sure if I'm supposed to fall in there or not. Bang. <laughs> I said bang! When I says bang, you say die! Got it? <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna try. Alright. It is death. Okay. You never know with Kirby games sometimes. Hello, car. Bang die! side here. Not much. Okay. <clears throat> hey! That's the fourth hidden waddle -dee. We got the lot. Sorry, I didn't realize we were playing that Mario Kart course. Wait! Drive without falling off the edge! Hey, a capsule! You unleash my friends right now or there'll be hell to pay! I have a gun! <laughs> Looks like we did everything for this stage. Nice. Tortilling. Whoa, Tortilling's shell is a whole building. This big baddie must be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs to high spots and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Lose my friends or there will be blood. <laughs> Water tank. That's what those things are. I thought they were just giant capsule things, not water tanks. A trip to a little mall. Ta da! 
by friends. Fire treasure, fast and firing, race to the cannon. 45 minutes. Oh, 45 minutes, good lord. 45 seconds. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to light the fire, then smash the smash the blocks. Okay, now I understand. Let me try that again. There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Press the guard button and I can duck into the cannon. <laughs> Give me that. This be mine. Very nice. God, this music. <laughs> it is so good. Fire treasure. Range of treasure! Ready, aim, fire, distant targets. One minute clear time. I already have the wrencher. I already have the shooty shooty bang bang. Ah, okay. tricky. Okay, definitely didn't do that. That's gonna be tricky to do that. Hmm. I feel like one minute thirty would have been a bit more fair. This is tricky.
Okay, just. And he had four seconds to spare on that one. Right. A trip to a little mall. Let's do it. We're going... We're going shopping! And I have a gun. <laughs> that is not something you should say out loud when you walk into a shopping mall. It's a good thing this is abandoned. Spikey Spike? Spikey Spike. And I have a gun, give me the goods and I have a gun. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I like, I like the spike. Oh, I'm just getting stuck on all of the things. I don't know, I like the spike just as much as like I like the ranger. Pah! I feel like there are definitely some weak power-ups and there are definitely some standout power-ups, and I think the spike is definitely a stand-up power-up. Wait a minute. Anything? No? Alright. Back to Spike then. They have to sell to me now, right? So it looks like only certain things stick to the uh, spikes. Eat four donuts. That was a donut. <laughs> Whoa! Whoops, a daisy. Capsule. The little spike guys, the little worms. That's very adorable. <laughs> That's one waddle dee. Does candy respawn? I, I really like the invincibility candy music. Aw, oh, invincibility candy no respawn. Sad. Oh well. I really like the invincibility music of Kirby in general, and that was a really good remix of it. That's just a bunch of lockers. Okay, but you'll stick all sorts in your mouth these days, won't you? Alright, well, what does this do? <laughs> Tip over! Storage mouth. There's a pathway to the right, and there's a burger joint. It's telling me to go to the pathway before the burger joint. I 
kind of want to see what's down the other pathways, but I'm assuming this is actually the correct pathway to go down. Interesting. They were... They were doors. Okay. Well, this is the one that wants me to go down. So, I'm gonna go down this one. Check this one first. I stole your food! Bottle D! Burgers! Though no donuts, interestingly enough. Travelators! Bye. <laughs> Burn ability. Hmm. What can I need that for? Oh. Oh, he's got a butt! He's got a big butt. by the way. No match for the walking pincushion. going forward. I skate still! Donuts. So I'm a little bit worried that I may have already missed some. I wonder if I should go back and explore those other pathways. What do you think? I mean, it's not like I can't go back. Oh, I can't go back as of now. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Glide. Oh, skate. <laughs> Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to go in that room though. Ow. Let's kill these Bondo butts. So they're not in my way. The switch. Mm -hmm. 
That's what will be number three. I don't think I didn't see this glowing around. Hey, there's a second donut. <laughs> Two donuts so far. I feel like I should have three by now. It's like ten minutes in the store. Come on, damn man! <laughs> Christmas shopping. <laughs> this is a slightly long stage. Surpri Hang on a moment. That's a different mouthful. Is it though? around here. No, no donuts? No donuts. Boing, boing, boing. Give me that! Pay. Okay, so go the way before cake. I see, I'm supposed to move it up and down rapidly. That's what I'm supposed to do. Capsule. Hmm, ice cream. Ice cream in top right. Go down cake pathway. Wait a minute, you're supposed to put two and two together, right. Go cake pathway next to the ice cream. Gotcha. Clever. So this is the way it wants me to take. Uh, is there anything else around here? Probably not. Puzzle solving? Check. <laughs> A lot of cake. That's the fourth hidden model, D. Mmm, cake. <laughs> That's the third donut. Please let there be a donut somewhere around here. I'd be very sad if there's not another donut. And it's looking likely. Oh dear, I think I've missed it. Oh, uh, Kirby? Kirby. Kirby? Kirby, you're about to cause problems. <laughs> Man of chaos. Navigate them all. <coughs> Navigate them all without getting lost. There's my fourth donut. Gib. Turbo dude. <laughs> nice. Got everything in that stage. That was a relatively long one too. I have a shot so. Dome mouth, Kirby. 
Kirby gained the mysterious mouth for mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap run around one of these and twist until it pops out. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. <coughs> They're actually- they- they just have a straight up regular name, Bernard. <laughs> the suppity pup is an expert marksman. Pew pew! He's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat, but that doesn't seem to affect his aim. This was an impressive sniffer that can track prey, near or far. Ta-da! I needed 17 model these for that. I've got more than that. <coughs> the brawl at the mall. Ha 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 ha! these helped you open the gate that was blocking your way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this, this territory. Still need 50. This is returning. Things here are starting to pick up. I have 39. Okay. I just wondered how many model these I had because I thought I might be getting close. 39 is such a weird number, but I've completed all of the other stages. <coughs> ice treasure! Freeze and fling! Skating on ice! 40 seconds. Oh! Interesting. I did not make that one. <laughs> I was I was just shy of that one. Just shy. Made it. The timing on these is kind of tight, considering how much time they actually give you to work with. <laughs> the Brawl at the Mall. Clear the stage. There are four mysteries. Interesting. These seem pretty tight, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the stage with the trailers. I actually thought the last stage would be it, but no, it's not. How do 
wish that I brought in a different power-up now. Wait a minute. Are there more of them? Or is it just that one? Looks like it's just that one. Okay. Bomb or sword. And that looks like the way towards the boss. Sorry, I'm gonna double back real quick and have a proper look around. Donkey Kong would be happy with all those bananas that I just grabbed. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way. Should I take a ranged attack or should I go melee? Ranged or melee? Ranged melee. Can I do something like that with the bombs? I do like sword, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how I go. Hey, big fat and ugly. Oh God. Strong armed beast Gorimondo. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be attacking here. Oh, bloody hell! Row. Go on, you just try it. I play Donkey Kong. I know how to avoid a few barrels. Try better than that! Oh no, it's... Oh bloody hell. I say go melee, but that's like the obvious and most common choice. I know it's Donkey Kong's douchebag cousin. Well. <laughs> oh, get out of there, Kirby! Notice his eyes bug out when I hit him.
And before one of the hidden missions is clearing the stage without getting ahead. <laughs> defeat Coromondo with the sword ability. Oh, I suppose you have to defeat him with all three abilities. Interesting. It's kind of jiggles too when you hit him in the face. <laughs> Slip through Garamondo's legs. Okay. And I suppose I have to beat him with all three abilities. Also, interesting that all of the uh, secrets didn't unlock there. Machine Volume One is now available. Turn the crank to get a figure. Try to collect the whole set. What of these weapons shop is now open? Head here to make your copy abilities even stronger. This place has gotten much livelier now that the townsfolk are finding their way back. The other Waddledees said they really appreciate your help, Kirby. I'm always ready to help too. If you need a second player, just let me know from the pause menu. Ooh, look, Waddledees' weapons shop is open. That looks like a quick way to grab copy abilities. I also heard the Waddledee inside knows a secret to growing stronger. Let's pay him a visit. Did they say stronger? Welcome to Waddle Dee's Weapons Shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing. Any copy abilities you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques. We can use it to evolve your ability. Let's try evolving one right now. I'll ready my tools. Thanks for waiting. The cutter ability can now be evolved into Chakram Cutter. Nice. Thanks for waiting. The fire ability can now be evolved into Volcano Fire. Stand in front of the ability you want to evolve, then press A to see the details. To evolve this copy ability, you'll need star coins and rare stones. You can find rare stones on the treasure roads hidden throughout the world map. Try those out. I prepped everything in advance this time, so we're all set. Just proceed to evolve the ability. <laughs> That's very cute. The cutter ability has evolved into Chakram Cutter! Success! All done! The cutter ability has evolved into Chakram Cutter. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Do it. The volcano fire. <laughs> oh look, the ranger is here. Oh, what this? Mr. Sandbag! <laughs> Mr. 
equipment, you have fire ability, run and jump, then press B to blaze forward with a burn attack. You can also use his ability to light cannon fuses. And here's a lesson known cannon tip. When the fuse is lit, hop in the cannon and press L or R to crouch. That'll speed up the fuse. Oh, cool. Also, now it tells us what the abilities can do. Time for some sh shooting star sharpshooting. Pew pew! Hold the button down to charge and aim, then let go to send a sparkling shot flying. Charge it up for bigger blasts. You can also change them around. Interesting. This ability is hot hot hot! Light fuses, burn through obstacles, and toast your enemies with the power of a raging fire. Run, jump, then attack to blast forward as a fireball. Boom! Fwoosh! This volcano is erupting! Harness the power of geothermal energy to spew lava in front of you. Blaze through enemies and make them feel the heat. Swish! Sling that sharp-edged boomerang. Use it to grab far-off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. That'll make it extra powerful. Swish! You can dual-wield cutters? Whoa! Sling both chakrams forward to slash a wide area in front of you. It's fun to watch them fly, as long as you're doing the throwing. Slice through this new world as a sword-wielding, green-hatted hero. Try charging up before you swing for extra power. Train hard and become this world's new sword master. This ability is now set to sword. When you find this ability in a stage, it will be set to sword to match. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it? Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom! You can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Ouch! Ouch! Careful with those spikes! Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Nab up, hold a bunch of them together and then launch them off all at once! Pow! Brrr, so cold! Can you see your own breath? Make a chunk of ice, then kick it forward. Skate and slide wherever you go, you'll even glide right over mud and magma. Looks like he had more to say, actually. Are you ready to explore some more? Just hop onto the on the warp starter and fly to a new area. Okay. He doesn't have any more to say now. That animation is very cute. I has a radio. I do it one more time. I do it one more time. Bufferhorn! Behold, it's a brutal British Bufferhorn! Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing they have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you can trick them into running off cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're all tough. Should I go one more? I go one more. <laughs> I don't have a problem! What are you talking about? Coin Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire coin into his mouth. Use a pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks in the ground or on pipes. You're out of control, Kirby. And here comes the gambling problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I have. I got. I got a treasure chest. God over. I don't have a problem. I can stop any time I like. Yep, any time I like. <laughs> yep, whenever I feel like it, I can stop. Whenever I want to. Altered storage mouth, Kirby. 
Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode, our ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. This one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa, he just took a whole chunk of that wall down. Use this to find hidden roots you didn't know about. Okay, I'll start. After one lock. <laughs> car mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can dash and turbo. Use turbo dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. Okay, I, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I need to get out of here. <laughs> When the Waldies were first being captured, I thought I wouldn't end up all alone again. But then I met you, Kirby. You worked so hard to save everyone and rebuild this town. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, little guy. They never heard from Kobold Skylar ever again. <laughs> Need to get out of here before I start gambling the rest of it away. He's still there just pulling the gadget. <laughs> Effa Bay Coast. We defeated the boss and opened up a new area. The abandoned beach. Looks like fun. Is there no... Okay, there's a fast travel to Waddle Dee Town. Oh, okay, so if I press Y... I can head straight to a location. Let's be surrounded by the screenery, right, Kirby? Hmm. So I did it with Sword Kirby, so I'm assuming I have to do it with the other three Kirby's as well, or the other three abilities. I also have to, at some point, slip through his legs. Gib. Stab. Do ice first. I think ice is probably going to be the most difficult. I'd like you to grab me again. And then I'd like to wiggle free. DK has returned for one more turkey dinner. Ow. Also, definitely did not slip through his legs there. Ow. Something tells me that was not supposed to happen. Oh, right, forgot about this part. Uh-oh.
Oh, that was close. I nearly dated. Nice touch. The those are attacking with ice, you can start seeing the light freezing. Yeah. His whole body started freezing, and that's I think I ended up trapping him on that on the first round there. Clear within two minutes. Hmm. Okay. So it wasn't clear with, uh, clear with the other abilities. It was clear with, um, clear within two minutes. And I'm assuming clear without taking any damage. So it's clear with a specific ability, clear with a certain amount of, clear within a certain time limit and clear without taking any damage. That must be the last one, surely. I mean, I nearly did it with sword without taking any damage at all. But I wonder if bomb might be a better ability for it. I'm gonna try bomb. Okay, so there's no try again option if you stuff up. <clears throat> I'm gonna exit the stage because I feel as though that last mission is actually beat the stage without taking any damage. And I definitely took damage there, so... At least that's what I feel like the last mission is gonna be. It's gonna be clear the stage without taking any damage. Not really sure if I should keep bomb though. I know I took damage there, but I'm, uh, I'll take the hit. In an attempt to do it in under two minutes. Now 
Now behave. Clear within two minutes. Okay. Clear without taking any damage. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. <coughs> Alright. That's gonna be a little tricky. But I feel as though Bomb is the way to go for that one. Bomb feels easier. And does a lot does a lot more damage. So it feels like we should probably stick with Bomb. It's just extremely close range, but at least you won't get hit by a swinging hand. I mean, the sword is the same, so... But I feel as though the sword is a little bit less powerful. That's why I'm going to stick with the bomb, I think. Ah, yeah, true. Right, you oversized monkey. Let's dance. I think he stepped on me. I think he stepped on me. If I want to be stepped on, I'll ask for it, you oversized ape. I'm assuming that all of the bosses are going to have the same missions, like clear it with a certain ability, clear it in a certain time limit, and then defeat it without taking any damage. Which actually poses a bit of a challenge in a Kirby game. I should swap out the sword though. I'll give it one more try with the bombs and then we'll swap out to sword. Oh, come on. What I don't like is the fact that there's no try again option when you're trying to get this particular mission. So you have to go through the loading screens again. <clears throat> Let's do the cutscene again, yeah.
I'm gonna try sword. I feel like sword has got the best bet of me not taking damage. Because I barely took any damage when I actually tried to fight him. Okay, this is mildly frustrating. Only because I have to keep exiting and entering again every time I take damage. That is really annoying. Otherwise, I don't feel like this is going to be too difficult. I think sword's the way to go, though. That depth perception is really weird. It is a bit. I wonder if there's a way to extend your health. There we go. Don't you have a dodge move? I do, but it's... it's stallish. forgot what he's doing. Okay, I need to step back when he starts. When he moves into the second stage, I need to step back. Alright. Yeah, it takes me a couple of seconds to initiate the dodge move. Because Kirby has to stop sliding around, and then I have to move the control stick. So it's not in not quite as instantaneous as you would like it to be. And wind up as the tell for it. Yeah, exactly. Because you can't do the dodge unless you're guarding, so... It would be really handy if Kirby immediately went into a dodge, but he doesn't. You have to guard first, then dodge. So it's better if you just jump over his attacks. I timed that wrong. I knew I did. As soon as, as soon as I pressed the jump button, I was like, yep, timed that one wrong. This one's quite tough, if I'm honest. 
I hope all of the bosses are not going to be like this, but I assume they will be. That is to say, I hope they don't all have a mission where I have to take no damage, but I'm assuming they all will have that thing, so... Sadly, you were in the anima attack animation and couldn't go just flapping the flippers. Yeah, exactly. I was stuck in the animation. And that's kind of why I don't want to use the bomb either, because I will be stuck in the animation. The sword is quick and easy to get in and out of, and you can attack whilst you're in midair. It's a bit more of a trial doing that with the bomb. I think I just need to be careful when going in for full attacks. Oh, come on! Ah! He immediately launched into another attack and I wasn't ready to dodge that one. Oh, that was close. No! Starting to dislike this mission, and I do not like the fact that I'm probably going to have to do it multiple times across multiple bosses. That is a m major concern, because this is the easiest boss in the game. There's going to be harder bosses than this, that's for sure. And if all of them have the fact that I can't take any damage, they're going to be bloody hard. interesting if one of the challenges was to defeat the boss without abilities. That abilities would probably be better. Honestly. I would prefer that as opposed to taking no damage. Oh for crying out loud. Ugh. Come on, game. I've been having fun up until this point. Patience and me, my guy, had have given up ages ago. I don't have patience. I am just really, really stubborn. <laughs> patience, no way. Stubborn, absolutely. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Mm. 
Right. Oh, come on. Ugh. I'm starting to wonder at what point do I just give up and tell the game to go screw itself on its stupid damage calculations. Mm. You're ruining my fun game and I don't like that. But we believe in you. does a decent bit of damage. That's one thing with Kirby games, you're actually supposed to use the stars to beat the boss. Copy abilities usually do less damage overall. That was close, I should have gotten hit by that. Time for a new strategy. This could either make or break it. But this time around, I am not going in with a power up. I'm gonna fight from a distance and use the stars instead. It doesn't matter how long it takes to beat to beat this guy, I just need to beat him. Watch out for the tornadoes spinning. Just run, Kirby. Just run. Mm. 
I'm surprised that counted. I'm surprised that one counted too. Okay, he's charging up. In the face! Take that! Sometimes, no copy ability is the best ability. Get out of here, you Donkey Kong wannabe! Rawr! I kill gods! You are nothing! Mere mortal! I will have my cake and damn it, I'll eat it too! <laughs> there! You saved all of the Waddle Dee's natural planes. That's gotta mean something good, right? <laughs> when I'm with you, Kirby, everything becomes an adventure. Aw, this guy is very cute. Ocean looks so beautiful, we should go for a swim while we're here. Abandoned beach. All right, finally back into some regular stages. See, this is what I'm talking about. See that frame rate in the back there? On those enemies? The two circling the island? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, Kirby. Can you swim in this game? I don't think you can. I think you can only sit on the surface. Why can I no swallow? I'm supposed to keep it that way. You will give me bump. You will give me sleep, and I don't want that. Crack open three knock knock nuts. Okay. Coins. Also, gotta keep an eye out for blueprints now. I've not seen a blueprint up to this point. What is that thing? Feed me gotcha. <laughs> Alright. Up we go. Down we go. Hmm, what do I want? Cutter or fire? Wild Bunkers! Oh, you have a new attack. Ow! Oh, give me the hammer! like a DDD. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. It 
It's hammer time! I have a combo attack too. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this ability already. Got her up! Destroyed the animal sand sculpture. I didn't think that was going to be a thing. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to smash it. But I know exactly what I should do. Smush. <laughs> that looks like the way to go, so this doesn't look like the way to go. Bottle <clears throat> One of three. That is just too much fun to just run around bonking everything. Bonky, 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 bonk! I'm assuming I need to avoid the wall. Well, oops. Bonk! Bonk! Ow! Hey! Get my hammer back. Check. For that, you get a bonk! There will be bonking. Damn it, I will get around you. <clears throat> I'm here for a quick second. You winning, son? Yeah, still winning. I did. I'm not sure if you were here, but I did finish the boss. The gorilla thing. And now I have a hammer! Hey, let's go! Oh, this is timed. I have a hammer. Bonk. Gimme. Second ball there. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk. After every sentence, and I have a hammer. <laughs> and I have a hammer. <laughs> Ooh, I have a capsule. And a hammer! Bunk! <laughs> the hammer just so happens to be my favorite copy ability in all of Kirby. Outside of sword. So I'm really glad that we have it so early. Because now I can use it anytime I want. Remember too, once you've got a copy ability, you can use it any you can go to the Waddle D town and grab it at any time. Dorkish. <laughs> totally could not be taken out of context. Never. Kirby takes blowjobs to a whole new level. I am sorry. I am really sorry. <laughs>
to want to play. I was not expecting to ride a boat. <coughs> Uh, no, it's a ring. It is not even. It is not a fan. It is a ring. A fan would have made sense. <coughs> oh, hey, there was a knock knock nut. That. Did not expect that. Didn't even see it. Thought it was a banana or something. And it's a ring, huh? huh? Sure, game. in here. <laughs> That's a sight. <laughs> we all know what it really is. I think I missed a mission there. Yeah, I did. Complete the sign on the rooftop. Complete the sign on the rooftop. Hmm. Poppy Brothers Jr. <coughs> Gordo! Let me guess, hammer time? One of those two, it's gotta be hammer time. I wanna see what complete the sign on the rooftop is though. And what rooftop is it talking about specifically? Mm. Hammer time! I'm a hammerin' for a spankerin'. Does unlock the sleep copy ability, I assume. Not sure exactly what it does. It might restore health later on. I want that capsule because I know for a fact that they might be different. And I'm a sucker for gotcha mechanics. <coughs> well, there was definitely no rooftops there. Nah, I'm good. Hammer. Bunker, 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 bunk! Ow, he bunked back. <laughs> Ow! He's bunking back hard. Okay. Hammer are not such a good idea for a bunker. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming it will do. Hammer versus hammer, the bonkening. I 
I did that on time with the music. <laughs> Complete the sign on the rooftop. Sign while on the rooftop. Not really sure where I'd be looking for that one, to be honest. I mean, the only rooftop I can think of is like in this area. My hammer! I threw it away. <laughs> but I just so happen to know that there is a copy Essence Deluxe over here. With a hammer inside it! The bunkening returns! There will be BUNK! Too cute to bonk. There will be no bonking for you. Stop being the bonker. seem to be a sign that I have to complete in there either. Bonk. Give capture. Feed my Gasha needs. No, it's probably a good thing that I don't live in Japan. Aha! What's this over here? Is this a thing? No, it's not a thing. Okay. No thing. Bonk. Soon put a stop to that nonsense where that's severe bonking. Oh, right, hang on. I see what it wants me to do. There. <laughs> That's what it wants me to do. That did not even register to do that. Sneaky. The funny ring. <laughs> Luckily, the end of the stage is literally right here. Don't have far to go. I have a Bonto Bat and 
The Lightron Works sign. The Lightron Works company was a massive corporation that invested in research and development within all kinds of fields. Electroid, Bio, Astro, and more. Lightron eventually split up, giving rise to many rival companies and countless heated corporate battles. As I was saying, it's a good thing that I don't live in Japan because I would be a sucker for Gacha machines. I'd just be like, oh, this only costs one coin. Oh, this only costs one coin. Oh, this looks like, oh, this only costs one coin. Oh, I can afford another coin. And before you know it, I've burned $50 and I have like five of the same thing. <laughs> Only one coin. Yep. <laughs> ah, yes. The Pelopper Post Office. Rebuild Waddle D liveries. Enter present codes to get special items. Together to build Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. I need 60 for that, so I should do that on the next stage. Hey there, this is Waddle D Deliveries. We bring delivery presents right to your door. Just enter any present codes you find and we'll ship the related presents in and drop them by your house. Speaking of codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town. See if you can find them. Also, some present codes are shared through online announcements. We can hop online to claim those. Want to see how it works? Sure you do. I had a present code on the wall of the house across from us. Go check that wall and try to find it. Any present codes you find in town can be entered and claimed offline. Pretty nifty, eh? Oh, wait. I should have asked this code first. Do you already have a present code you'd like to enter? No. Thanks very much. Hope to see you again soon. Something is written on this wall. Let's see. First password. Is this a hidden present code? Connecting online to locate delivery presents. Okay, go ahead and enter your present code. <laughs> Kirby signing his life away. Kirby, no! It's fine, it's only a waddle dee. Ha, huh, that code checks out. Your delivery present is already on its way. Look for it in front of your house. I has a prezi. I go see prezi. Mine. The present arrived with this present code. First password. Hundred star coins. A hundred star coins to fuel my gambling addiction. I mean, um, what happened was cute that little house on a pokey right up. Oh! Oh, they took away the maximum tomato! There was a maximum remember there was a maximum tomato here. They took it away. What if I were to bolt? Model D's do not deserve bonking. To decorate your house with figures, just open up your collection with minus. Then select the figure you want and press plus to display it. Of course I'm going to have that. <laughs> Just because this is funny. 
Look at my little guy! Take a nap. I noticed Ellie Flinson is sleeping at the bottom of the bed. That's very cute. This game is sometimes a little too adorable. I noticed that book and I want to check it out. Read book. I read. Oh! Hello! Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, an action game where a Kirby made of yarn uses a new set of abilities only possible with yarn. Along with various transformations, Kirby also has new Ravel abilities. Kirby Battle Royale, an action game in which Kirby faces off against hordes of rivals in all sorts of different battles. Up to four players can get in on the action via the internet or local wireless. Kirby's Blowout Blast, a sub-game from Kirby Planet Robobutt. Yes, I call it Planet Robobutt. <laughs> Reborn is a scrolling 3D action game. Race through a 3D space, inhaling and spitting out objects and enemies to defeat foes and aim for the high score. Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, a sub-game from Kirby Planet Robobutt with newly added features. Wait, Robobutt? <laughs> you heard. <laughs> with new quests and over 80 types of gear, it's a free-to-start game that can be enjoyed with up to four players cooperatively. Kirby Planet Robobutt. To save a world invaded by an evil corporation, Kirby dons the Robobutt armor, which can transform into over 10 different modes. Supports all amiibo. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Guide Kirby to his goal by drawing a rainbow line with a stylus. Kirby can also transform into three types of vehicles and team up with Waddle Dee for up to four player cooperative action. Also, uh, Kirby Planet Robobutt is a game that I do have, but I have not played it. I actually have not touched it. Like, ever. I should probably get around to doing that. Kirby Fighters Deluxe, a sub game from Kirby Triple Deluxe with newly added features. Battle with your choice of 10 different copy abilities and up to 3 other players via local wireless. Good point, Gabby now will be like, what's a stylus? DD's Drum Dash Deluxe, a sub game from Gabby Triple Deluxe with newly added features. Control King DDD as he moves with the rhythm, using different kinds of jumps to aim for the goal. Gabby Triple Deluxe, I played this one! I played through this one and fully completed it. Also, the ending of this game is absolutely phenomenal. And I don't mean the ending cutscene, I mean the final boss. <coughs> <coughs> this was an absolutely epic final boss. This was a lot of fun to play. Featuring action that moves not just left and right, but into the foreground and background of stages, in addition to 25 copy abilities, this game boasts the helpful, hi the powerful Hypernova copy ability. Super Kirby Clash, a pretty star action game in which four Kirbys with different abilities take on quests together. In addition to the single player mode, enjoy multiplayer via online and couch co-op play, and I'm willing to bet the online mode is dead. Kirby Fighters 2, this combat based fighting game lets you choose a copy ability then enter battles with up to four players. You can fight dear friends or unknown rivals all over the world. There's even a story mode where you'll face off against the tag team of King DDD and Meta Knight. Kirby Star Allies. This is also a Kirby game that I haven't... Amazingly, I have two Kirby games that I have never played. I have Kirby Star Allies and I have uh, Kirby Planet Robobutt. And I have not played either of them. And instead, I'm now playing Kirby Trip, uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. <laughs> Was it Triple Deluxe that had a remix of Dream Pal? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I do not remember. It's been a while since I played through Triple Deluxe. Turn enemies into allies with threatened hearts. <coughs> My voice is squeaking. Combine your pals as pals to invoke mighty friend abilities as you fight to save the world. Play with up to four players by sharing Joy-Con. I play Kirby, uh, I should also mention that I play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I did not play the extra Epic Yarn though. Ellie Flynn, you wanted to say something to me. What did you want to say? Did, did you still want to say something? Yeah. If you take a nap in your bed, you'll recover all of your health.
Well, since I'm here, it would be a shame if I were to not crack a few of these. Captured Model D, one of the Model Ds being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. The addiction Skylar, no! <laughs> there are so many out there waiting to be saved. You can almost help hear them calling for help. Wait, do you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. Puppy Brothers Jr. again. Car. Hey, got a chili. Hey! Bum! Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it? Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom! You can run and throw them too. I'll roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Blue Star Coin. I don't think I've actually seen one of those yet. <coughs> Warp Star! Big Kabu. Got it, bar. Hey, there's a little guy. These delightful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the new world before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal their precious food. But with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. I could stop. Star block. Anytime I wanted to. Catch a bottle these. The beast pack managed to catch these three bottle these within with one golden cage. If they work together, they might be able to Oh, never mind, they're too sad to move. All they do can do is cry out for help. Wow 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 somebody save them. Could, but the question is, will you? Nah. <laughs> Bomb block. Jab hog. Charge those points up, then zing, let them fly. Jab hog is famous in the new world for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when it was young, but they eventually grew into dangerous needles. It'll jab anything that gets too close, so approach with caution. I don't have an addiction. I don't know what you're talking about. I have another one. Car shop sign. This logo belonged to an auto shop named Holine Custom Autos, part of Holine Corp. Highline is also sold industrial parts, managed construction, and made all kinds of stuff. From buildings, to streets, to amusement park, rides. Remember, if it's quality, it's, ho it's Highline. Uh, perhaps it was would be more accurate. Cherry. Yep, definitely don't have an addiction. Whatsoever. Pronto break. and I can stop whatever I like. I'm in complete control of my own actions. Total and utter control. Yep, 100% control. See, I can stop anytime I like. <laughs> 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 Just opening it up and seeing it like this completed, oh dear. <laughs>
back on. What happens if Waddle Dee's been up? Say hi. Oh, that's adorable. He does wave. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. And there are present codes hiding all over town. Oh, you can go back to the arrival point. Okay, cool. I was actually curious about that. Well, I don't see any other person cards lying around. I see Meliphon would point them out to me. Um. Hmm. Should we do one more stage? Should we do one more stage? It is 11 o'clock, and I should probably get to bed. I am having a lot of fun here, but there isn't really any telling of how long the stage will take. No, no, we'll leave it for next time. We'll leave it for next time. I think better gain Extra stock items, stock coins, and more. Here. We're a player. I have a player. Amiibo. Okay, this is a really fun time. Surprise! Kirby only gave me coins. Mm. Oh, that's my stored item. What does this do? I assume that... I assume... Right. Can I use the same amiibo twice in one day? Receive items from this amiibo. You can receive items again after you clear a stage. Game, you don't want to know how many amiibos I have and how many times I can do this. That was my Wooly Yoshi immediately. Now he's sitting there staring at the desk. <laughs> I have an idea, my girlfriend is trying to collect all of them. Oh my goodness. I think I s kinda started doing that and then was just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna collect the characters that I liked. Which was still a lot of the characters. <laughs> um, I still need to, well, eventually there's probably gonna be a Sora amiibo for Smash Brothers, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick that one up. Alright, anyway, I've actually had a lot of fun with this tonight. Aside from, aside from doing the boss with no damage, which I probably should have done with out of power up from the start, I've actually been having a lot of fun with this, so we'll definitely be continuing this next Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, 
I'm actually kind of excited. Almost, yeah, kind of killed in a bit, but yeah, this was fun. Yeah, it definitely was. Like, this is even more fun than I was expecting it to be, and it's very cute. Very cute indeed. So, I definitely want to play more. I kind of want to play more, like, right now, and just keep going. But I do have work in the morning, and I also just want to play this off stream, but at the same time, it's like, well, I kind of want to keep playing it blind on stream, so I'm going to have to wait until Wednesday night next week. <laughs> oh, it's going to be killing me. Anyway, uh, next week's schedule, I will be playing something new on Monday night, because we finished Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex on Monday. So we will be playing something new there. And if you want to check out more Kirby and the Forgotten Land, we can do so on a Wednesday night. That is when I will be playing this game once more. Ooh, something new. I'll try and be there. All right, no worries. <clears throat> I do not know what I'll be streaming as of this point, so I will have to think of something. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We will definitely be back because I need to fill my gambling addiction. Uh, I mean... I definitely want to play more of this game and not fill my gambling addiction. I don't, I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see if we can raid someone tonight. And if so, who do we want to raid? Gambling addiction, Skylar. Don't lie to yourself. I think we'll head over to Foxy Dargan. They are playing Destiny 2. We've raided them before, so let's go ahead and raid those. <laughs> oh man, have a great night. See you around. You too, Crimson. Thanks for coming out tonight. Alright, have a good night, everybody, and I will see you next week on Monday for something new. And Wednesday night, if you want to watch more Kirby. Which I definitely want to play more of. I definitely want to feed my addiction of. I mean, I uh, definitely want to play more of. I don't have a problem. <laughs> and if you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>